Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Not too soon? Too soon. Sorry. But I gotta head out the door. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of the different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So I was looking through some old videos and I was trying to find a video to, like a link to insert into one of our other videos. Okay. And one of them started playing. Do you know that we do that intro like 50% slower than we used to do it? Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. I think we were afraid not to get it in for some reason. I don't All know. All I know is it was so fast. It was like, My hey, I'm Joe and I'm Rachel and we are Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto stuff. And I was like... Am I playing this on two times speed? Nope, normal speed. You sound like the Micro Machine guy. Oh, I have no talent like that. Each one has dramatic details, terrific trim, precision paint jobs, plus incredible Micro Machine pocket play sets. There's a police station, fire station, restaurant, service station, and more. That he guy was is amazing. amazing. Yeah. You know who else was amazing? What was the guy's name from um, Police Academy, who we got to meet at one of the shows? Oh, and he yeah. actually does that. Some people think that those are like sound effects that is inserted. No. no, he actually does that. He is a what sound is effect name? machine. Now that you don't know. Michael gonna... Winslow, I want to say. Get away from the vehicle. Yeah, both of them, right? People you experienced in your childhood, it. right? Who did you grow up with in your childhood that... You could talk really fast? Well, that, that you just think like, I remember that. And who are the two that stand out from TV? Is, yeah, Michael Winslow and the Micro Machine Guy. Right. Who probably also has a name, but he's Micro Machine Guy. <laughs> he's Micro Machine Poor Guy. Thing. He's like the, the bad guy from Terminator 2. That's how I know him. I know he's Robert Patrick in the back of my mind. And he's in a lot of other movies. But... Tons of other movies, but he's the bad guy from Terminator 2 every single time I see him. Well, don't you feel that way a little bit about Arnold Schwarzenegger? All the movies he's done, he's the Terminator. Well, I don't know. I, I know him as Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right. But no, no, Terminator 2 bad guy? No, that's his name. <laughs> it is day 22. 22. This is Chuck Woolery day. Two and two. Two and two. It's day 22 of the beef, butter, bacon, and eggs challenge. And uh, that means we are actually starting week four. I actually meant to say, you know, people do ask us, why do we still do the intro? Like, time to get a new intro. Like, oh, I yeah. hear it every single day. Right. Well, number one, if you have been with us for a while, that's your potty break time. We <laughs> built that in. That you're like, oh man, I didn't, I didn't pee before this. Go ahead and do it. You know exactly how much time you have. More importantly, there's always somebody new. There's somebody who is just turning it on, and it's just our thing. And so this way they know who we are. So if you have to sit through it every day, sorry. we're sorry, but there's always somebody new out there. Speaking of which, okay, 
in the last 30 days, we've gained 1,700 new subscribers. Wow. Well, welcome. If you're new here, we're so glad to see you. And thank you for sharing your time with us. We don't take that lightly. Mm -hmm. We don't take that for granted. Get it? Granted. We're really thankful that we have an opportunity to, to hang out with you, and, and we hope we can be a blessing to you. Yeah. So, back to back to it. Uh, day 22, week three, we were supposed to be in the home stretch with just three more days. I feel great. Mm -hmm. And I also feel like we are speaking into our own pause button because we had this whole thing of like, well, we're going to do this, but we've got to have it done before the conference because I can't go to Las Vegas and not eat things other than beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. And now we're speaking into our own lives. What? We sure can go to Las Vegas and eat only that. No, we can is, do it. Is there a possibility that we go to Vegas and and we say, you know what, I really want to try that? Yeah. No. We might. Not for me. Okay. I'm not doing it. We might. Do I think I'm going to? Oh, our, our new dishwasher is talking to us. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> we it should talk to us. We, we might do that. I doubt we will, but we might. And if we do, just the next day or the next meal, we jump right back onto beef, butter, bacon, and egg. Why are we continuing it after the date that we said we were going to do it? Because why not, right? I'm enjoying it. And also, there's a bunch of people who started after we got started. Maybe they started with uh, Dr. Barry and his Patreons. Yeah. And we want to help support all of those people. Cheer them on while they're doing that. So, yeah. I mean, as far as I know, unless I get... Like somebody, like I accidentally get something like, right. oh my gosh, that beef has chicken in it. Right. Then, well, I, I'm other just, than that, I'm going to try. Just like when we got started at the beginning, I reserved the right to take a Redmond Relight if I absolutely need it. Oh, I see what you're saying. At, I reserved the right to, you know, maybe try something when we're there. I can't think of anything that I'm really like, oh my gosh, I need to have a piece of cake or something like that. But I, again, reserve the right to do it. You never know. But not, you know, I don't plan on going off it. Does this mean that we're sticking on this lifestyle? No. We're using it for what Dr. Barry basically intended it to be for the most part, which was, it's a reset. Nisha was talking about that in I Coffee that. and Chat on, sa on her Saturday Coffee and Chat, which if you don't watch that Coffee and Chat, go watch yes, it. Yes, she's so lovely. She I is amazing. Love I love Nisha. First of all, you know why I like Nisha? Because Nisha is a technology geek like me and Chris. I love she her because... She just loves technology. She's just sweet as she can be. Oh, yeah. And now our refrigerator is talking it just, to it's us. It's dumping your giant... Ice, ice balls. balls. I was um, trying to not have you say that. But. I just, I just love her so much, and she's real. Yeah, she's real. It's not. She's not trying to say that like everything is always going to be perfect. Right. And sometimes I really struggle with that as right. a people pleaser. That I want to make sure that I get it all right. You're not gonna. Especially for like us, where we're in front of the camera. You see our ups. You see our downs. You saw me jiggle my fat skin rolls yesterday, right? So you're you're gonna get it all, and that's why I yeah I love that about Nisha. She's gonna tell you like it is. That's why I love about Dr. Barry. He's gonna tell you like it is, yeah. whether or not you want to hear it or not. And yeah, so if you if you're not watching Coffee and Chat, go watch that. But it's she so was talking about you know the whole idea is what is this? It's not a permanent lifestyle. Can you make it a permanent lifestyle? Yeah. But the whole idea is this is a reset. It's a good way to eliminate pretty much everything that is probably causing you inflammation. How are you going to know if you have a problem with something if you don't take it back to the drawing board right. and then reintroduce it and then take it back? I mean, it's just you, you're, we're doing a scientific experimentation on ourselves mm -hmm. to find out what are the particular ingredients that work best for us. Right. And we will add things back in. We'll probably add things back in slowly, but not slowly. There's certain things that before we add stuff back in, I want to test on myself. So, and we actually got a message from a subscriber about like doing this in a certain way because they had a relative who had some food sensitivity things. And just like we say with other things, you know, it takes a couple days. Yeah. So... It's funny, you eat a big meal and then what's our habit? Go get on the scale or get on the scale the next morning. Well, guess what? 
that meal probably isn't affecting the scale today or tomorrow. Right. That meal is affecting the scale in three days, four days, five days. Yeah. So you need to study it over a long period of time. Yeah. And it's the same thing. So what she was talking about was when you introduce food, for example, I want to find out, is chicken inflammatory to me? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to eat it for one day and see how you feel. You want to eat it for one or two days and see how do you feel in three or four days. Does right. that make sense? Yeah. So maybe add in some chicken without a bunch of other stuff. Just add in the chicken like on say Monday and Tuesday, have some chicken. And how do I feel on Thursday and Friday? Does all the inflammation come back? Well, then the only thing that has changed in my diet is chicken. Therefore, it's probably the chicken. But if I go in on Monday and Tuesday and I have chicken and I have ice cream and I have keto chow and I have cheese what and I have it? stevia, now what is it? So you got to do one thing and then maybe the next week I'll do cheese. It's interesting to think of, you know, in terms of when you work out. Have you ever worked out really hard and then the <sighs> next day thought, I got away with it. I'm not sore a bit. I'm right. completely fine. And then fine. in two days? And then in two days you're like, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to die. Like, I think every single muscle in my body is destroyed. Yeah. The one thing I am going to say is that this challenge has taught us, and, and I think it was the most important thing that we have pulled out so far, and I'm excited for the two more weeks that we have on it, Yeah. Uh, but is you can eat whenever you want during the day. You don't need to really do an freeing. intermittent fast every single day for 20 hours or 22 hours or even 16 hours. If you're hungry for breakfast, eat breakfast. Yeah. If you're not hungry for breakfast... Don't eat breakfast. If you're not hungry for dinner, don't eat dinner. Like, and let your body tell you instead of having a bunch of social media influencers saying the only proper way to do keto is to do a fast every single day of at least 16 hours. Right. Because that messed with us. Well, and I'm not going back to that. I'm not going back to feeling guilty if I have breakfast. I, I think about if someone came to me the way that I felt on the inside and I'm like, I just feel like a monster when I have breakfast. I feel like a bad person when I have breakfast. And that's I, how we sounded. I would be like, what? Like, I wish that you would let yourself off the hook here. Like right. that is, that's horrible. That's a hard way to live. And every single day you're feeling that, that hurt and insecurity. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I was. So this challenge has done so much more than just contour our bodies mm -hmm. and get our skin looking better, which, oh my gosh, like I'm very happy with what is happening all over skin wise, aren't you? I, well, it, at least that's how we feel. And that's what most of you guys say. Yeah. But we did get a very interesting comment we did. and it, it led to, should we take one of these vlogs? Yes. Maybe on the travel on a travel day or something. Should we take one of these vlogs? Yeah. And do another mean comment. Thing? We have to because we actually got a comment yesterday where the person said, "Obviously, you guys are in your late fifties, if not early to mid sixties, and you're just proving that this way of eating is not good. Makes you ugly for an elderly person." Oh. Well, I am on my way to my games. I got about a twenty-five minute drive. While I'm driving, I'm gonna have one of those uh, Four Rivers sausages. How did it go at the game, sir? Let's not talk about the games. Okay. <laughs> that good? The first two games were fine. It was the last game where coach just decided to charge the field. Oh my lord. And then they didn't like something at the end and we basically ended up ending the game because people don't know how to control themselves. So, like, the kids got cheated out of an entire quarter. Some of it I blame coaches because you're already winning by, like, 30 points. Why are you trying to keep scoring? Right. Like, you're, you're just asking for trouble. But, you have to teach sportsmanship. Yeah. But, anyway, I stopped at Costco on the way home because I wanted some more meat because we're having steak for lunch or dinner. I know how much you like these things. I do love that. That's like and my favorite brush. So it was on sale. It was like $10 off. So I, I know you don't need one, but... 
Keep it in they the closet. Go, they go bad after a while, so I bought you a backup. Thank you. And then everything else I bought was on sale. These are awesome. We've done a review on them. They're really, really good. They're super clean ingredients. It's like beef, celery powder, vinegar, garlic, and sheep casing. They're and they were they're amazing. four dollars off a pack. Wow. And with no limit. And they last a really long time. So I we've bought, also frozen them. Yeah, that's what I usually do. I bought five packs of them. And then I was gonna get the kielbasa, but they put sugar in the kielbasa brand now. So uh, they had these on sale, the Teton sausages. And these are literally just grass-fed beef, water, and then less than 2% of salt, vinegar, and spices, including paprika and celery powder. And these were $5 off a package. Wow. So the kielbasa was like $20 for like six or seven sausages. And this was uh, $10 for, what is that, four at uh, 12 sausages a piece. Well, I love the fact that there are grab and go options even on this challenge. Right, and they're really good because it's like, hey, I want a little bit of a breakfast going out or you know what, the steak wasn't enough for dinner. Just, we make up a couple of these things. And then uh, I wanted to get us some more steak. And so New York Strip is $14 a pound at Costco, but you can buy it this way and it's $9.39 a pound, and now you just cut them up the way you want, which I prefer anyway, because we want them nice and thick. So now we can just cut up our own steaks and save $4 a pound. I also bought you some more laundry, or not laundry, a dishwashing detergent, because on sale, $5 off a container. And we never use this stuff, but it was $6 off. So I bought some of this stuff for our new dishwasher. It's always when you get a new car, new dishwasher and appliance, you're like, I'm going to give it its best life possible and buy all these little extra things for it. So hopefully we'll continue buying it even after it's six months old. Not if it's full price. How was your day? Church was awesome. You're glowing. Oh, well, thank you. I, we had a lot of kids. In fact, I had cut out and prepared exactly the right amount of crafts for preschool and kindergarten. I've never had it exactly enough and not one extra. That, oh, was, wow. that was crazy. I mean, thank you, Lord. We had enough for everyone. But, I mean, we're seeing some big numbers in kids' ministry, so I'll have to prepare accordingly. But that's awesome. That's an awesome problem. I love that. So uh, I'm going to go start up the Kamado Grill. We're going to do hot and fast New York strips. They've I'm been uh, salt brining in the refrigerator. And I don't feel like doing keto on the couch. I know you want to do keto on the couch. So I'm I say tired, honestly. we do it live tomorrow. Let's do it live. And I like how you're saying it's hot and fast because I am totally ready to eat because it is like 4.41. You got about a half hour. I had coffee with a tablespoon and a half of butter and that's it. So looking at this, I was trying to figure out when uh, we have to freeze this by. Here's the cool thing. User freeze by January of 2022. Oh my goodness. So we don't even have to stick them in the freezer. So long, once you open up the package, right. you're supposed to eat them within five days. So then that's when we can freeze them, but we can just leave them just like this, this is all nice. vacuum sealed. I also like the fact that they come in like a three. Burger. Yeah. It's like a three or a four pack. So when you open it up, you're not exposing all 12 of them. You're exposing four of them. And it is the perfect size for both Joe and I to have a full length meat stick because you just cut it and have it so long. We both get a meat stick and feel satisfied. The refrigerator door is open. Okay, these steaks are ready to go. We're gonna bring them out and throw them on the grill. We also got some of that peppered bacon we got at that uh, Carol's Farmer's Market in Georgia. Okay, grill's up to 650 degrees. We'll go like two minutes on each side. Are you happy now? I am very happy now. <laughs> Rachel's like, I want to eat. I'm like, the meat's got to rest. She's like, why? Wake it up. <laughs> okay. So here's what we got. Yummy stuff. We got three eggs. Don't worry. The yolks are cooked all the way Thank through. Thank you. You know me so well. And then, but you should use it in like raw, like for a sauce on your steak. 
Mm. We've got some of that peppered bacon that we got at that Carol's place. Now, one thing you have to be careful with this is because it Bones. does have some bone pieces in there. So your steak is bigger than mine. So I have four pieces of bacon and you have two pieces. I like that you clarified that. Um, plus you ate all the pork belly. So I should I get did. all the bacon. You should get all the bacon. That feels completely fair to me. And then we each have a New York strip cooked on the Kamado. And uh, I like to put on the back side. Look, you got the double X. Mm. And then on the front. Should be perfectly cooked. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Looking good. That's what I like to see. Pink. Nice and pink in the middle. So like a medium rare. Mm. So what else happened at church today? Just serving kiddos. I mean, it was fun. We do like lots of crafts and stuff like that. I mean, I was in kids lounge. I set up all of the curriculum, but then we have kids that where their parents are, are serving in some different ministry. And right. so they're, they've got to wait because their parents are their ride. So I just get to hang out with them and we do crafts and all kinds of like old fashioned things. Like they love things with yarn and I play with Play-Doh, which a lot of times the parents are like, oh, that can't come home. So, right. but I'm old school. We do a lot of painting, things like that. So I have a lot of fun. We we play a lot of games too, which, okay. you know, they don't get to play at home because Miss Rachel's old. <laughs> she likes old fashioned games. So how were you? Because you didn't eat all day. And I mean, this is our first meal at like five o'clock at night. I was fine at church until everybody started talking about how hungry they were and right. where they were going to eat after church okay and then it was like it was it put it in my mind like oh yeah but i'm not gonna get to eat until joe comes home so i'm like <laughs> you start to have that that feeling like i wasn't hungry until somebody talked about it right well it's interesting because i mean i knew we had the steak but that's why i like to reverse your steak mm -hmm. but you know with the late day that's like an extra 30 minutes so just going hot and fast getting that up to like inferno mode like 650, 700 degrees with the flame coming up in just a couple minutes on each side. I think reverse searing is nice because it you get more of that medium rare mm -hmm. as opposed to the, the ground on the outside. But, you know, it came out really, really well. I mean, I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of that grill. I'm excited about that. Uh, and now we've got all those New York strips I just bought. And again, I, I, they even had the ribeye that way, but it wasn't enough of a saving. So do the ribeye was... Do they call it a New York strip? Yeah, it's like the whole rack. Okay. But the ribeye was sixteen ninety nine a pound for the ribeye. Uh -huh. And then to buy like the whole piece like that where you slice up your own was like sixteen forty nine. So it wasn't Not... worth the 50 cent savings yeah. to do that. But... A four or five dollar savings was now worth it by that way. I'm excited when we get our cow, which I mean, it's just like one of those things. Rachel's usually like, you know, when I'm talking about doing something like having my friend who is a master diver teach us how to scuba dive or teach you how to scuba dive. Mm -hmm. um, it's like going to happen pretty quickly when it gets in my mind. Like, hey, I think that we should do this and it's going to happen pretty quickly. But this can't happen very quickly. Like we can put the deposit on the cow but we've got to wait six to eight weeks for the meat so in the meantime we have to keep buying steak right or keep buying ground beef and, and other types of meat so i'm going to just keep looking for the deals until it's not like we're going to not eat beef no oh my goodness right so nothing's going to go bad so this may or may not be our only meal because it's late it yeah. depends on how we feel okay so I placed an order on walmart.com and it was supposed to be delivered tomorrow. I opened up the door because I knew I had an Amazon package coming and I found this bag sitting at our front door. For a second, I thought your mom like dropped something off because she's always like going to the thrift store and finding stuff and she just leaves it at the front door, doesn't even knock on the door and let us know like, hey, I'm leaving stuff there. This was my Walmart delivery. This is how they dropped it off at the door, right? For ordering it from walmart.com. 
I mean, didn't tell me it's there. You want to see what I got? I've never seen anything not in a box or something. Exactly. Literally, this is how they left it at our front door. Look, you, look what I got. I got silicone egg rings for the Blackstone because we wanted to make like some of those egg whips. We wanted to try to duplicate it so we can make them. And I've tried the metal ones. The egg always sticks. So I like these silicone ones and they actually, there's eight of them. So, but what's cool is the handle folds down so we can use it on the electric one or use it outside. Nice. Then this is for, I used to have a little one and I lost it. This is for making the bacon. Holy crap, that's so a big one. You, on your outside, you put your bacon down and you put this on top and your bacon won't curl up. Well, I like that. It's just, that is this a is large a big one. surface. But it was only 10 bucks for this nice, and it's cast iron. Wow. That this is, nice. is the thing that's going to make you super happy since we're using this indoor electric one. Yeah. It's a spatula mat made out of silicone. Thank so you. So that when you're cooking, you put this right next to the griddle. And you can use it outside too, but I want it more for inside. Yes. And then you don't get all the butter and stuff that's on the spatula, like, you know, all over your counter. You know how I knew cool? we were starting to get too close to lean and not with the fat that we should be eating, it's because our counters were no longer greasy. <laughs> our things were no longer greasy. Now everything, everything, everything is greasy. Yeah, yesterday I had my shorts on, I was eating that sausage and some of the like grease flew out of it, got on my shorts. Rachel's like, you peed on your pants. I'm like, it's not. It's now a permanent <laughs> grease stain because every time I eat, I get butter, oil, grease all over my, that's why I don't wear white t-shirts. I'm always surrounded by children. So that's exactly where my mind goes to first. Like, did you pee yourself? Did you need to go potty? No, yeah, no. it's just grease. You're 50 years old, not four. How was the premiere? It was awesome. Yeah? I love hanging out with everybody. And you know, sometimes we release things in the morning. Sometimes it's at night. It's just when you finish it, when you get to, to do it, then we premiere it. Um, but I, but I love it. I, I, I really enjoy finishing the day with my family. That actually poses a really good question. So what we've been doing is a morning video. Right. And then in the evening, we've been premiering the, uh, you know, whatever the daily vlog is. Usually somewhere between like 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock, sometimes 8 o'clock. Depending between 5 on and 11? It just depends on if I can get it edited. We always like shoot cable for company. we always shoot for between like five and six o'clock to get that one done. My question is, do you guys like the premieres when we do a premiere video? Not cute on the couch, but like these vlogs. Do you like it when we premiere them in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening? I kind of am like you. I like it in the evening. It's a great way to wrap up the day. A lot of people are home from work. Right. We can hang out with our family before we go to bed. So let us know down in the comments section. What do you like? What is the best time? Morning, afternoon, or evening for doing a premiere for vlogs? Because it's also nice to start the day together, though, too. Are you ready to relax? Um. Well, we were supposed to be relaxing like two hours ago, but I'm I am sorry. ready to relax. I enjoyed my steak. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat anything else today i'm done i'm i'm on i almost couldn't finish my food it rachel had finished her food and i'm like oh, i'm gonna obviously just, always i'm just gonna take my time and it took me probably like another 30 or 40 minutes like i was just kind of picking at it and finished up my bacon it was really good but i'm like really full right now so i don't really need anything else to eat tonight you know you tomorrow we'll probably have some breakfast once in a while we're enjoying the breakfast so tomorrow I'm taking the day off from cutting. I don't have any cutting to do because of the way we've worked the schedule. And we're moving into winter cuts. We have too. a lot of church stuff to do, though. So we have some church stuff to do because we're leaving on Wednesday afternoon. And we have a new series starting this week. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited about this one because it's a construction series. It's a construction series, and we're having construction going on both campuses right. of our church. So we just thought it would be fun to have, you know, construction hats and, you know, all of the, the vehicles and equipment to go with what's happening all around us. Yeah, but we do have to, I need to go and get some chicken food. There's like not a lot left. I have those big tubes and I can always tell like one of the tubes is empty and the other one is like half empty because they right. always go to the front one. It's like, wow, 
you guys go to the like the most accessible one first and then when there's none left in that don't one we? then you go to the back don't one. we do that <laughs> always we also need some labrador food oh that's right yeah we, we had to resort to running up to big lots to get a bag of food because we were out of food yes and the place where we get her food from is like not around the corner no it's not it's worth the schlep because they carry it's better it. quality food right. it's not available in like pet smart and you can't get it from chewy we, we use a product called origin well she's very sensitive to skin issues yep so i mean grain free for her is not even enough mm -hmm. like we've got to really like she, she wants the, she's a bougie Labrador, she's apparently. <laughs> and she can be expensive to feed. Like people have asked us like, how come you're not feeding her like a raw food diet? I looked into it. Her diet would cost more than our diet because she weighs 118 pounds. Yeah. It would just cost us like $15 a day to feed her raw dog food. We're great parents, but not that great. <laughs> We're we're okay. We're okie dokie parents. So we're going to premiere Keto on the Couch live tomorrow. Yeah. So we we decided take the night off. Take the night off instead of like trying to rush because we could have filmed Keto on the Couch this afternoon, but that means that I got to stay up all night editing it to get it up. And at six a.m., you have to preview it to make sure we don't have any Joe screw ups. We vetoed it all. And just do it live. I'm excited. We're going to just do it live. You know, it's an extra little live stream because I don't know what the live stream ability is going to be like on Thursday in Vegas. We are any, planning on live streaming on Thursday. Anytime we travel, we're always wanting to make sure that we let you guys know we're going to give it our best. Yep. But you just never know. I will bring all three of my hotspots. So. And it's Vegas. I mean, there's got to be good internet in Vegas. I would think that there's good internet in Vegas. This is our first trip to Vegas Together. as a couple. Yeah. Like, you went on a guy's poker trip before we met. Yes. And I went with my cousin, like, on a girl's trip. Right. But we've never... No tattoos on this one. I know. I got a tattoo on the last one. So what's <laughs> this one going to have? <laughs> well, I actually just found out the hotel that we're staying at, and it's the hotel... Where the show is, uh -huh. there's no gambling in it. Oh, it's a. It's I a, did not know. Is that Las, a dry hotel? Is I that did, what it means? I did not know that Las Vegas had like gambling free hotels. Wow. I did not know that. That's amazing. I'm not a huge gambler. What do you anyway. do there? <laughs> what is there to do now? Well, I mean, I like just going to all the hotels yeah. anyway and seeing the theme of the hotel, like if it's an Egyptian theme or a circus theme, or I just like looking at all of the the museum We're gonna do that on stuff. Thursday, that's why we're going in early. Please, I so, love that. But yeah, I'm not a huge gambler. I, I may gamble a little bit sometimes, last time I went to Vegas, but here was my thing. The guys used to always go on a trip to Vegas, uh -huh. and they would go for four days. I got there, I somebody taught me how to play craps. Aww. I put it's like- a crappy friend. I put like, 40 bucks down. I'm like, this is my limit. This I'm in Vegas. It. This is my limit. When it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. I turned it into like $500 in a couple of hours. Wow. And then I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go home. Because I know if I stay there, it's going to be all gone. I And I literally just like went in a hotel room. I went for walks down the strip. Right. I didn't want to do it, be anywhere near it because now you've got this extra money. I'm like, I just made my... Nobody makes money when they go to Vegas. I... I'm just not a gambler at all because I, I never prepare to win anything. The extent of my fun gambling is I used to love playing bingo. I was going to say, do they have bingo? I, I don't know if they have bingo, but we have the, the Seminole Casino here. I don't even know if they still have it because it started like phasing out when they allowed like regular gambling in, down here with poker and stuff. Um, Everybody started doing that instead of the bingo. Right. And I loved the bingo, like especially bingo. when they made it smoke free. Because it yeah. was really nice. You would go in there and it would be like $26. Right. Every, there's like 18 games. Every game paid between $100 and $1,000. It was fun. Enough. And it took like three hours. So we used to date that way going, 26 bucks. Where? What can you do for you 26 bucks movies. on a date? Right. So you go there, 50 bucks. You're there for three hours. A chance to win money, have fun, and I was one of those bingo players. Let us know in the comment section, were you a bingo player? Did you ever play bingo? I was one of those that would have the computer over here and then like 
six sheets of like you know three pr games I can't per pay sheet. attention to that Rachel much. could barely handle the computer yeah she was like how are you doing this so I would have to scan her paper and scan my paper I well and it's the franticness that's what's it's like I love that I always love seeing the people who had like the whole troll set and like all of these like good luck charms and her pat and everything we need to go to and see if they still have stuff it. Um, but then I was really glad when they got rid of the smoking section because it made no sense. Even if you were not in the smoking section, you were in the smoking section. It was like, like when they had a smoking section on an airplane, like the smoke's going somewhere. The fact together. that the last five rolls can, rows can smoke, who cares? It, it was an airplane. It wasn't a different room. It was a, it was the next table over. It'd right. be like, I would be, in, you know, I'm in non-smoking right now and he's in smoking. Like yeah. that's how it would, that's how close you were. So we would just have to come home from bingo and throw our clothes away. You know what? The one thing that I did like when you would go to Vegas, although I don't even think they exist anymore, my mom liked them. My mom liked the actual penny slots. Oh, yeah. But the penny slots Where you pull the handle? are no longer a penny. Like, it's now, like, it's a penny slot, but you have to spend, like, 35 cents. Whereas it, the original ones where you put a penny in, right? Right. And then you feel great when all this money comes out and you win and it's like, oh, I won 68 cents. <laughs> <laughs> I won 100 pennies or a dollar. But I used to like to go down to the old part of Vegas where they still had coin slot machines. Like, I don't like these digital slot machines where you put it in and I you want press. To pull the arm. I wanted to pull the thing. So when they got pull rid of all finger. that, that's no fun. I'll put your finger. Please don't lift up. I, well, I'm, I'm keto. <laughs> we don't have the gas problem anymore. It's not as dangerous. What is wrong with us? Sorry. Okay, let us know down in the comment section. Are you a gambler? Like, do you go to Vegas and do a ton of gambling? Like people say on a Take cruise that that's you. what you do. You do a lot of gambling on if a cruise. You're lucky, We're not gamblers. Come on down and be with us. And you know, you know, if you want to go gambling, you have to bring Anthony. Anthony is like good luck charm, finds money everywhere. You don't want to bring us. No, no. <laughs> we're the per we're the person that like creates the curve. Of, right? Yeah. <laughs> I am really excited for the rest of the week. We've got a couple of days, like we said, tomorrow. Um, I'm going to get some videos edited. We're going to do Keto on the Couch Live. We're going to work on kids ministry. I've got some cutting on Tuesday and Wednesday. And Wednesday afternoon, we're headed to Vegas. And I have no idea how we're going to do beef, butter, bacon, and egg in Vegas without a kitchen. It's going to happen. It was easy when you're like, you know, have a Airbnb and you have a kitchen. But we're in a hotel room. But we are going to have a set of vlogs that shows it can be done no matter what the obstacle. I'm glad you're so confident. In I'm that. confident. Because, you know, the, the $4.99, let me have some of the yellow stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have some of the, um, some of the yellow. And don't get cheap on me. I don't think that exists anymore in Vegas. I don't think that, that's not even a keto thing. I don't think anybody <laughs> should be eating the blue like the slop from like Randy Quaid was eating in like the last time Vegas I was in vacation. Vegas, you can get hotel rooms right on the strip for like forty dollars. Is Wayne Newton still alive? And I don't know, is he? Well, I'm gonna see him if he is. <laughs> Let's go. I was shocked to see like the old hotels, like Treasure Island, were a couple of hundred dollars a night. I'm like, what's with that? What happened to like Vegas was super cheap to go to? We should get remarried by Elvis. No, I don't think so. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're like giddy because we're tired. Sorry. It is time for us to go to bed. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.